uh, calling her that. I know it came out that way, but like I literally was saying she's standing with somebody who supports that because that's, that's exactly what EQ does. She supports it because she makes fun of it and she labels people that wrongly. And that's my bad, y'all. I misspoke on that one. That was my fault. No, that's all right. You're saying what, what she does, like, not her actions, but her, all of her words has always got to be about kids and, mm -hmm. you know, everything, whether it's Luke the Judge on holidays, she says, filming kids in the, in the pool, whether it's someone but dating we are, someone, we are it's talking kids, about it's evil someone, queen. everything it's, is kids, kids, it's kids. It's actually comes up, isn't it? Because we are speaking about her. It's yeah, always kids, kids though. Queen. She's let like others in the box when she speaks about them. Like realistically, when she yeah. makes disgusting accusations, like she did. As again, I seen something on the FYP where she was trying to claim that um, G Crew and Holly Stanley were exchanging pictures. And again, this isn't banter. Remember, remember, Charles, you said that banter is bullying when it came to the DG situation. I can't believe more banter that. bullying. Come, I got flagged. All right, um, whatever. He, l listen, I just I don't think you should bring kids into things every single other argument. You can have an argument with people, but bringing in kids or unalivement of yourself is just too far. Like yeah, you're an adult, like, and that's the that's, you are an adult. Whether you like to act it or not, you're an adult. You're not playing an act, as you say. You're Chelsea Harwood, a uh, professional fraud star who went to prison. You know exactly what you're doing. Um, the boxes are open. She's not requesting. Stop saying request. She's not requesting. Hello, darling. Hello, Be nice, evil queen, please. Hello, everybody. Hello. What would you Hi. like to say, Chelsea? You've been waiting for a long time. I've not been waiting anywhere, love. You requested me. No, you've been in the requests. I've recorded. The, I'm recording the screen, so obviously it shows that you've requested me. You've been in the requests. No, I haven't. All right. Do you want to add anything, or are you just going to sit in here? No, I wasn't sitting in. I was just listening to a conversation about me. I think I'm entitled to listen if it's about me. It's only fair, isn't it? All right. But you, you're saying you want to talk. You're requesting, which you've done, and now you're requesting just to sit still, or do you have something to add? You're sitting still as well, love. But I'm talking and speaking facts. So all you Either do is queen talk. talk or I'm going to block you. All out you here. do is talk about kids. Oh, I, do, I don't mind being blocked. I'm always blocked. And then I'll Even you always queen. talk about yeah. kids. No, why? Yeah. Well, let me actually question. ask a question. Why do you always talk about kids? Why is everything about kids and pedlos? And when you had a 14 year old moderator who slept at your house? Did I? Yeah, yes. he did. He played Have you got robots. any evidence, Alex? Yes, 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 there's a lot. Ask yes, Sam. Ask Sam. Okay, so can we see some evidence? Ask Sam, your 14 year old moderator. I don't need to ask anybody. You've he made slept a statement, at your house. So 14 year old that you wanted you to keep the quiet. Statement, and you, so then you, you, befriend, put the you befriended Chester because you didn't want Chester to talk out on about your 14 year old moderator. Sorry, I'm moderator muted me. Um, have you got any evidence, Alex? Yeah, I do. But I don't okay, need to live so up to. I don't need to make this an well, evil creature. But I'm just saying, every time you talk about kids, I know I know exactly why you do because you have a you have a passion for kids. It's weird. You've Every made single it a argument you have, you talk about the way someone looks, their age, the fact that they look. Everything is kids, kids, kids. No adult has that mindset to think Alex, about or talk about kids in that way. On, if someone said something on this app, wouldn't you ask for proof? You talk about kids twenty four seven. That's no, a fact. I don't. Yes, yes you, you spoke do. about Luke so the Judge being on holiday. What you've just accused me of? No. It's a fact. You had a fourteen-year-old no. moderator. Okay, so so when you ask for proof on things in future, we you are had a fourteen-year-old moderator, and that's why you haven't denied Where's it. Where's the proof? Why are you nope. not denying it? You don't get nothing. Where's the proof? I've denied why are it you many not times. Denying it? I deny it. There you go. Denied it many times. So where's the proof of this sleeping in you've my house? You've denied it. You've denied it many times. That means other people have accused you of it too. Yo, you have a million different times. Chester, I've heard it from all these. Love you're on the same. Look. You paid oh, off a dad to, to silence a child I because paid you were you, you was manipulating a fourteen-year-old child. Where's the proof? A forty, and now it makes Station. sense exactly why all you talk about is kids. Where's kids, the kids, kids, because you have such a guilty conscience on your mind of whatever you did to that child. Alex, where's the proof? And that's all I'm going to say. And you know it's true. That's why Please you're not responding proof anything. Because you would demand proof of anyone right. else. It was you don't you get know proof, it's true. Queen. So yeah, did you Chelsea, never you have a 14-year-old no moderator? Cowboy, would you ask for proof if someone else was accused did of you, it? Uh, you've been did accusing me for the past two weeks of being a groomer. So, so therefore, you're just as bad as me. And you got so shut down so by an American creator with almost 4 million followers. And you didn't even want to clap back on that one because you knew you would get shut down. Did you have a 14-year-old moderator? Yes or no? Right, that's what I thought. Run away. Run away.
That's what That's I it. thought. I'm sorry, I wasn't even gonna bring that up, but listen, she's trying to be like, she's trying to be all like, uh, mm -hmm. like trying to scare people. That's what exactly what she did to Unicorn, which is why Unicorn didn't speak out about her. That's exactly what she's doing to Karma Kaz behind the scenes. You don't scare me. That's the difference. Not even in the mm -hmm. slightest. You're in my room, which means you're in here to defend yourself. Because I have not, I have 600 people. You can go live and get 4,000 at a time. You have no reason to be in here, but you're in here to defend yourself because you know we're onto something. So stay out of here because you ain't wanted. The truth is, Evil Queen, um, she made a she made a couple of videos about uh, me and Alex and this, that, and the other, and um, she got clapped back and she got shut down by an American creator that had almost four million followers, and she didn't want to clap back at that because she knew that if she did, she was going to get shut down, and that right there tells you exactly where her priorities lie. She thinks that she's somebody because she's on a little island with 100,000 followers. Honey, you ain't shit in America. You ain't just, shit here. Just stay out the room. You don't need to be in here. You, I don't know why you keep insisting on coming in here. You do not need to be in here. I, I think, look, I really like you too, but I, I, do, I do think that if we're going to make these accusations, I think something needs to be shown. Because I know that how angry you guys are with these situations, but we can't be throwing Here's the like thing. This. Here's the thing. Unicorn, unicorn. She set up on her live making accusations that I was a predator, that I was a groomer, that I was a pedlo because I'm dating Alex. And she had no proof, no anything. It was a straight up accusation just because Alex looks young. She had no proof, so she gets no proof. She wants to play that game. How frustrating is it? She gets nothing. But, nothing. The, thing, but the thing is, we can't sit here and be like, look at her doing this to people. But then do it back. She had a 14 year old moderator. That's a fact. Why do you think all the FYP pages are silenced by watch? Tomorrow, be on my FYP, I'll get you the proof. Be on my FYP page, 1 p.m. tomorrow, I will get you the exact proof that you need. If that's what you want, I'll get you the proof, okay? We'll go to Sam, the 14-year-old boy that you silenced, who slept at your house, and we'll ask him for the proof. Because EQ thinks that because she has this big platform and views that she can just bully people. Bully, bully people off the app no you keep coming in here and provoking people for a reaction you're gonna get that reaction honey because yep. i'm not scared of you yep we're not the ones guarantee it and all of y'all enablers all of y'all evil sadistic twisted little bitches in the chat that support that woman or whatever the fuck that she wants to be you are the problem and you'll you'll get yours in time oh zia thank you zia at least someone's speaking out about it, though, to be fair. A lot of people are scared of her. Anyway. Yeah. Oh, everyone's... All right, I'm going to close the boxes, guys. I, yeah. think I went a bit off topic, but thank you anyway. No worries. See you later. Bye. Bye. Right, thank you, everyone. I'm sorry that I went a little bit off topic. Thank you, Z. I love you so much. You're amazing. Thank you. Um... Sorry that I went a bit off topic. Guys, you know what she does in here. You know exactly what she does. She tries to push you into a place until you bite back and you react. Like, I was always keeping that information to myself, but don't come in here and trying to, like, interrogate me. Like, she knows exactly what she was trying to do. So now she has some content for her show later because there's nothing else to speak about. Nothing else to speak about. No, I won't let her talk because she knows that she's not wanted in here. Anyway. There we go. Thank you, Zia. Thank you, everybody. If you guys can get your heart meets in and your follows, that would be great. Get your confettis in if you haven't already. I'm not going to talk about EQ anymore. Maybe I'll let myself down there by, by talking about her and letting her up. I should have blocked her out instantly. Um, mods, if you ever see her coming, just block her out. I keep falling for that. I keep doing that, which is my fault. Not anyone else's. That's mine. I keep giving her the freaking reaction she wants. And now she's got something on her FYP show to, to play and talk about. We ne I need to do better in that sense as well. I do, and I'm oh, I'm sorry to all the viewers in, in here who I let myself down for that for. Thank you, Lisa, for the subscription. Um, I do apologize. Like, Listen, she knows what she's doing in that sense. She does. She knows what she's doing. Thank you, Zia. Hi, babe. What's up, baby? 
listen, you know, fuck these idiots, dude. Fuck these idiots on this fucking platform, dude. Seriously, if they want to support that bitch, then let them support her. It doesn't really matter to me. I don't really care anymore. At the end of the day, moderators, Evil Queen is not allowed in this chat, and anybody in here that ever sees her in this chat needs to get her out of this chat. She is no longer welcome here. She is no longer allowed in this boxes. She is no longer allowed to have a say-so in any way in this chat room. She can go over to hers and do whatever she wants, yell transphobia, yell ped pedophilia, whatever. She can do whatever she wants. It has no bearing or effect on our lives at all. And she, we're, we're going to stop giving her that credence because honestly, she came in here as a troublemaker and started making trouble. That's exactly. And then all of her followers are, is that transphobia? Is that da, 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 da? No, 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 it's not. It's, it's absolutely not. She's a bitch. And that's all that is. And she needs, and she needs to know that she's a bitch, but she probably already knows that at the end of the day, she just is not allowed in here. And you know what? We have a case pending against her anyway, so we're not even supposed to have contact with her, babe. I've blocked her so many times. I don't know why she I know, keeps coming I know, in on but different we can't, accounts. We can't, yeah, no more no more in the boxes. If she's seen in the chat, we can't do that. Yeah, we my bad. That, sorry, yeah. my bad. No, you're good. It's not your fault. I understand. I understand. It's okay. I love you. I love you. Um, mm. Guys, Cowboy's doing a game show tomorrow. Um, he's got a new, actually a new... Um, link in his bio. Can everyone go to his profile and register to a game show tomorrow? A bit more yeah, it's fun, on this light and energy. And yeah, it's, it's on this account right here, y'all. The uh, event link is in the bio. It's for tomorrow. Y'all go register for it real quick. Click my click my face right here, and go register for that. On someone's situation, that's not mine. It shouldn't have been me to bring forward certain things and speculation that I've heard on comment calf and certain lives about evil Queens moderator. Uh, that shouldn't have been me bringing that forward. And for that, I do apologize. It's not my story to tell and it's not my business in that aspect to tell if it got brought to the platform and then I was commenting on it. Well, that's fair enough, but it's not for my place to tell anyone else's story or trauma. And for that, I genuinely hand on heart apologize for bringing that to my live stream. As you guys know, I do my live streams every single day. FYP stars in your eyes. Hi, I hope you're getting this as well. Uh, as you guys know, I do my live streams every single day at 1 p.m. And I just come on here and I try to you know just do my fyp show and for whatever reason evil queen the last two weeks has been on a huge hate bullying campaign towards me where she just won't leave me alone it's beyond like quite scary actually like a borderline stalking and in that live stream she must have come in in about six different accounts and i blocked them all and i blocked them all and eventually she kept requesting the box and eventually i let her up on one of them um So, yeah, she knows what she's doing. She knows why she's coming into the room. She knows what she's trying to achieve. She's not trying to come in to defend herself. She's not trying to come in to, you know, be, be the voice of reason or help people who can't understand. She's coming in to cause chaos to create content for her show. And I'm really upset within myself that I let her control my room because I'm better than that. I don't need thousands of people screaming at me that you're amazing to feel validated. I'm validated in myself enough and I appreciate the people who support me. Even if that is just 200 people, it's 200 incredible people who make me happy on a day-to-day -day basis and I hope I make happy too. And I shouldn't have let her in because her only reason of going into boxes is to create chaos and to upset people. And she got the reaction that she wanted and I'm disappointed in that because, you know, I was raised as a way to turn my head on bullies, look at them and laugh, don't go to their level. And I shouldn't have gone to their level. And I didn't make anything up. It has been stuff spoken about on TikTok, on Comment Calf and a few other pages. But again, it's not for me to bring to the app. And for that, I apologize, hand on heart. I hope you can forgive me. I'm sorry for even not listening to my own viewers who said don't bring her in. I should have listened to you guys, but I am still new to this. I'm really new to this and I'm still learning and I appreciate my friends who are helping me through this and, and who see that. I'm just a good guy who literally just trying to do a show and, and you know, bring some, a different opinion. And again, I'm sorry for bringing someone else's story or situation to TikTok. That wasn't for me to do. And I, and I truly believe that. And I hope you really do understand that and feel that um, because that's not for me to do and that's not what I'm like. 
I, I don't hold on to things to then throw it at people. But she kept going and going and going at me, and enough was enough. And I, 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 like every other human being, I had an emotional reaction, and I, and I reacted in a way that you know she wanted and she absolutely wanted that and she did she wanted that she knows the information that i've had for a while and she's been waiting for me to say that so she can twist the narrative but moving forward i don't want to know what evil queen has to say about me i don't want to be tagged about her if she's on the fyp i'll give my opinion but i don't want to know what she's got to say about me because I don't deal with people like that. They're just nasty, low, low people. I'm a human with emotions and I, I can hold my hands up when I'm wrong. I don't cover it up with an act. I don't cover it up with, you know, it's this or that. I just say, oh, that was me, I was wrong. We're all human beings and we all react emotionally in reactions when someone is constantly trying to get you to react, you know? Um, so if you're here to support me, thank you. I appreciate you. Moderators from now on, if you ever see Evil Queen come in the live, just block her out. I don't care how many views she can bring in. I don't care how many followers she has. I don't care what she has to say. If she wants to say it, she can say it on her platform. She's got a platform where she can go live and get thousands of people. You have to question, why the hell are you in here? And the only reason you're in here is to start trouble or because you want to bring me down because I'm doing well. You are not gonna control my live stream anymore. I let you do that today and I shouldn't have let you. And for that I'm wrong. And again, I shouldn't have brought people's stories to TikTok. But you are not going to control my room or push me to an emotional reaction to spin a narrative on me. Therefore, you're not allowed in here. You're not wanted in here. I'll speak about you if you're on the FYP, but apart from that, keep your opinion and your business to your room. I will rise up, I'll keep being happy and strong, and again, I'm not gonna let anything get me down. I'm sorry, I'm not. She knows what she's doing and she's not gonna get that. I really hope you guys understand that. I hope you, you know, appreciate that. And, and that's my response to Evil Queen. So I hope the screen recorder's got that because I know everything's gonna be plastered now about me saying about this, but here's me saying I apologize for bringing someone's story to TikTok that wasn't mine I shouldn't have done that I do hand on heart apologize for that she knows what she's doing by coming in this room she knows what she's doing by trying to get a reaction she knows why she's in a room with 200 people when she could be one in 3,000 people she's trying to get a reaction and no more am I going to give her that reaction so if you see the queen in this room moderators I don't care if I'm mid conversation with her you block her out and you get her out because I don't want evil in here I don't want that nasty behavior I'm not going to stoop to your level i'm not going to diss you anymore i'm not going to personally attack you but i am going to say that i don't want you around okay because i'm not going to lower myself to your level and, and, and yeah if i can send it to you if you want hi baby hi so it's okay people have reactions when they're pushed too far Everybody has a breaking point. And you know what? I can respect the fact that you are sitting up here saying, listen, this is not my story to tell. And you're right. It's not. It's absolutely not your story to tell. And the fact that you recognize that shows the level of maturity that you have. The idea that you feel like you need to apologize for something that you did in your show seems kind of funny to some people. But in truth, moderators... We're about to have a group call here in a few minutes, and I'm going to call all of y'all. That was that was the worst moderation I had ever seen. Not just with her and her accounts, because I blocked three of the five that she came in on. Did Alex make a mistake by bringing her up in the box? Yep, he sure did. And now he's saying that he did. But moderators... All of her little minions and all of her – nobody was getting blocked in that live. They were just sitting in the chat winding Alex up, pushing and, and grasping at anything that they could get. And that's not okay. We're going to reassess our moderators is what we're going to do. We're going to reassess who's, who's there and, and how effective they can be as a moderator because this was actually – really bad I, I i watched over 300 people enter this fucking room and sit here and wind alex up and keep backing up evil queen and all that well she shouldn't have even been in the box so alex you're at fault too obviously and we've already established that and i'm not pushing out blame but i'm gonna push out the blame am i to blame too yep you damn right i am i'll take some of that blame 
Mods aren't your staff. Yes, they are. Lady, moderators, get that shit out of here. That bitch needs to go. So I'm not going to be nice anymore. I'm already at my fucking wits end with this. I... If there was 300 people that came in to support Evil Queen, 300 people should have been blocked. Because anybody who supports her is not allowed in this room. People are like, oh, well, they're allowed an opinion. No, they're not. Stop saying that everybody's entitled to their opinion. No, they're fucking not. No, they're not. Not everybody deserves a fucking opinion. If, if you are nasty and you are evil and you want to wind people up and you want to actually try to get at somebody and try to upset somebody on purpose, you don't get to have an opinion. Not in this room. Not in my room. Not in his room. Yeah. Just like that. Boom. And you're gone. Yeah, I'm his boyfriend. And now you're gone. There is... A certain degree of responsibility that we put in our moderators, which is the reason we have a private moderator group on Snapchat, on Discord. We have private groups with all of y'all in it. But you know how many people I've seen get blocked when Evil Queen was up there in that box? Zero. Not a single one with those nasty ass comments down there in the chat. And I don't care if the room, and neither does Alex. Alex doesn't care if it goes from 500 back down to 250 where it was when it was being a nice life and he was number one in the popular, or number one in the uh, campaign with the confetti things and rising in the populars and was being nice and wholesome and everybody was here. Everybody was here for it. And we were banding together as a nice little group. And then that evil, twisted-minded bitch came into this chat with all of her little minions and nobody got fucking blocked. So now we're going to have a conversation off the app with all of the moderators. Baby, I love you. Yes, you made a mistake, but everybody makes mistakes. You don't have to keep apologizing for it. I, I respect the fact that and a lot of people in here respect the fact that you're willing to say, you know what? That's not your story to tell. And you know what? Sam will tell that story whenever he's fucking ready to tell it. Okay, but it ain't for us to say. And you know that as well as I do and yada, yada, yada. And anybody in here that says, oh, she needs proof, she needs proof, guess what? She doesn't deserve any proof, and she's not going to get any proof. You know why? Because she sat up there on her platform making accusations about me that were completely false with no proof. And she didn't let us go up into her boxes. So fuck her. She gets nothing. She lose. She gets nothing. Nothing. Bye, baby. I love you. Bye, you. There we go. So you've heard from me and you've heard from Cowboy. If you're in here to support, thank you again. Yeah, people tried to get reactions that they want. Um, yeah, sorry if I let anyone down. I'll keep saying sorry because I, I care. I have a heart. Obviously, I wasn't just making something up. It was just an emotional reaction of something I've heard because she comes in and she tries. She's been following me for the last two weeks trying to get a reaction from me, trying to, you know, get me to say something wrong, trying to you know, get me to cry, try to hurt own friends have laughed when I broke down on live. And this platform is a platform of, you know what, yeah, we speak about the FYP and yeah, we speak about drama, but I would say it's, an, it's a very positive platform. Everyone who comes up has something to say. Everyone who comes up gets a voice. Everyone who comes up gets to, you know, speak about what they want to speak about. And it's a very positive room. And I'm not going to let someone who's evil bring that, what I've worked so hard on down because I've only been on here for not even long and I think I'm doing pretty well and I think truly that's the reason why she's in here trying to bring me down is because she's threatened by me because I'm doing well um but I find doing well just making people happy not being nasty to people I find doing well if I even if I just had one person in my life saying how much I appreciate you that's what I find doing well I don't find doing well being nasty to people to get thousands of viewers. I can't do that. I'm only a human being with a heart and I appreciate goodness and good vibes and that's it. So I'm not going to keep dwelling on it. I've apologized. This hair is really annoying me. <laughs> I've apologized and that's it really. Like I shouldn't have brought someone else's story to TikTok. But now moving forward, I don't want her in my room. I don't want her in here at all. Even if I'm mid conversation, even if I say, no, 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 wait, let's just get her out because she's not worth it. She's not worth it. You know? And that's what I asked everyone. 
Um, and if you agree with that, put a blue and a white heart in the chat, please. Thank you. Hi, baby. Hi, sorry. One more thing. <laughs> Shit. Y'all, cheap plug. Cheap plug. Look, we're going to go from all that negative into something really positive, okay? I want everybody in here right now, if you're not following me, please follow me, okay? And in my bio, there is a link for what we are doing tomorrow night, okay? I host game shows on this app to try to bring fun and enjoyment and laughter and all of this other, we don't need all this negative FYP drama bullshit. Come over and play some games. Like go register for the event. The link is right here in my bio, click it. And it says tomorrow, right? And it's, we're gonna play gift or no gift where I give away a lot of TikTok gifts and we're gonna play TikTokly race, which is like the monopoly version of, uh, of TikTok. And it's got a lot of challenges, a lot of new challenges, a lot of advantages to use to play. You can win gifts there too. I'm going to give away a lot of gifts tomorrow and I'm going to give away a lot of, you know, good loving energy. And trust me, it is nothing like what has been going on today. Okay. So please follow me and go to my bio right now. Click it, click it. All of y'all, there's 173 people. Click it. I'm going to tell who did it. You know why? Because when I go back here in a minute and I check that registry list, I'm going to see who's in here and who actually went and registered because it's going to give me a list of everybody who fucking registered. I'm going to give you all about 30 more seconds. <coughs> we'll have all the registries, darling, and I want you all to come and play. It's a lot of fun. It's super chill. It's super fun. I like, I'm just, I'm just saying, and even if you can't afford the gift, that's okay. A lot of people will like gift a little hand hard or something so that you can have an entry so that you might get a chance to play.